Here's how to install and load your double haul fly rod carrier. It's simple and everything you need is in the box. First, join the two halves together with the couplers. Then, using the included 6mm hex wrench and open wrench, install the hardware as shown. And tighten up all four fasteners. Now, loosen the mounting plates by giving the thumb screws a few turns, like this. This allows the mounting plates to slide freely. Now you're ready to get your double haul onto your crossbars. With help from a friend, carefully place and position the double haul onto your crossbars. When choosing your position, be sure to consider rear hatch access. Slide the plates to center them over the crossbars. Continue to support the rack as necessary until you have fully tightened the mounts during the next step. Be careful, do not allow the double haul to tip forward or backwards. Now it's time to attach the mounting hardware. Guide the clamps around the crossbar and up through the mounting plates. Then attach and tighten up the knobs. Now you're ready to test your work. Push and pull in all directions. The double haul should not slide or move on the crossbars. Retighten the knobs if necessary. The knobs must be oriented as shown. Next, tighten the thumb screw, making sure that the bolt is captured in the underside channel. Okay, it's time to lock the carrier to the crossbars. Set the lock plate onto one of the mounting plates as shown. Then screw the accessory lock onto the thumb screw bolt. The knobs must be placed as shown for the carrier to seat properly. Use the key to secure the accessory lock. Your double haul is locked to the crossbar when the knob spins freely like this. Now let's load your rods. Press the button and open the door completely. For added protection, install the optional felt pads provided. Just peel and stick like this. Now insert the rods with the guides facing up or to the side to avoid catching them on the edge of the compartments. Use the included clip-on pads for additional guide and rod protection. Make sure the rods are fully inserted and the reels are resting on their sides. Remember, you'll need to break down any rod longer than nine feet in half and load it together. Once your rods are loaded, close the box and use the key to lock it. Removing the rack is easy. Unlock and remove the accessory lock and lock plate. Loosen and remove the knobs and clamps. With help from a friend, lift the double haul off the crossbars. For smaller vehicles, you can configure the double haul to half size. Using the included 6mm hex wrench and open wrench, remove the end cowl from the front portion of your rack. And using both wrenches, install the end cowl onto the rear portion of your rack making sure to use the hardware that you removed in the previous step. Now remove the thumb screw bolt. Next, remove the top and bottom mounting plates from the front portion of the rack and install the plates as shown onto the rear portion of the rack. and loosely tighten the hardware. Make sure the bolt head is captured in the underside channel and return to the previous installation steps for mounting the double haul onto your crossbars. That's it. Now get out and take it easy.